Hello viewers, I am Matt and welcome back to another video. Uh, as some of you know, I like to open up my videos with a little interesting piece of AI news or an interesting AI generation and this is most definitely both of these. This is a long video generation with time agnostic VQGAN and time sensitive transformer. Uh, so I'm going to get a little bit into this today. I, I thought it was just such an important little uh, piece of AI news that I absolutely had to share it with you guys. Of course, today's video isn't just about this. We're looking at an AI today that can completely generate realistic variations of your voice, uh, and it's pretty incredible. At any rate, though, this is a long video generation, time agnostic view can, and time sensitive transformer, so this is very interesting stuff. This is actually powered by Meta or Facebook, so yeah. Facebook definitely is delving down into the AI space for sure, and they're doing some very interesting things. And uh, in my opinion, this is very impressive and sort of an answer, I guess, to COG Video. It, it works similar to COG Video, but this is definitely more powerful than COG Video, which of course is a AI video uh, generator that I've covered on this channel in the past. So uh, it can generate long video generation results. To be honest, this whole paper deserves a video of its own. But uh, I'm going to be linking this down below for those of you who are interested right now. So 1000 frames of video at resolution 256 by 256, which is pretty darn good. As you can see, this one seems to be text based, uh, where on the bottom we see the different text and the character reacts from whatever text is put in here. I'm not exactly sure how this works very specifically, but it uh, does seem to be very impressive and very cool. And you know, the character jumps to the left when it is typed down on the bottom and he goes down into the left towards the ground and reacts in a realistic way. So yeah, I'm not exactly sure on the, the very specifics. I haven't had really time to, to look deep into this paper, but yeah, this is very impressive stuff in terms of AI video generation. I mean, we haven't seen anything like this before. So we also see similar uh, to COG video, we have full like eight FPS videos, these short, little short form versions, but these are much more diverse and this is much more like real text to video generation. They're really like short little GIF style clips, but it's pretty impressive to see this kind of text to video already at work uh, with these various companies. And this is extremely exciting stuff. Uh, to say the least. It does really good job with time-lapse style stuff. We've got sunsets and clouds moving, so that's a pretty good example, I think, and a pretty easy thing for these AIs to do so far, these little text-to-video AIs. We've also got this Tai Chi example, which I think is super impressive too, where it's generating all these different people doing a Tai Chi, so yeah, very, very impressive stuff. This is all very similar to COG Video, but the, uh, the more long-form stuff that we've seen so far I think is is the most impressive thing out of all of this and we can you know look through this different paper this little interactive website uh I, yeah i suggest you guys go check it out if you're interested and check out the research paper as well uh, i just really wanted to include it in the beginning of this video because i think it is important so getting into today's main part of the video a lot of you probably were expecting me to do a video on looking glass ai today which is based off of are you dolly and uh, apparently it's a very capable AI, uh, but there's no real easy way to use it. It's a Google Collab notebook, and it's actually a pretty complicated one. And uh, unfortunately, I was getting a bunch of errors when I was trying to use it today. So yeah, I'm not going to be making a looking glass video uh, at this moment in time. Uh, but when I am able to figure it out and really put some time into being able to figure out how to use it properly and get it to work properly, um, I will most definitely make a video on that because I know that video is very highly requested. Anyways, we're looking at something extremely cool today, though. This is actually Descript, which I use for pretty much every single video that I make. Uh, it is like a subscription-based service, and uh, if you guys want to buy it, by the way, if you're impressed with what you see in today's video, I do have an affiliate link if you do want to download this and uh, buy it and use it to make videos, for example. Go ahead and use my affiliate link. This program has a lot of different capabilities. It's mainly like a video editor and transcriber. It uses AI to transcribe all of your videos and then use that transcription to do automatic editing, like cut out all the different spaces or remove things like ums and buts from your video. But they also have something called overdub, which is really what I'm mainly covering in today's video. And you do need the pro version, which is about 30 bucks right now uh, a month to be able to do the overdub. But essentially, 
The overdub allows you to make a carbon copy of any voice, although you do need the legal rights of whoever's voice you're using to recreate. So obviously I did my own voice here, but you know, I don't know anyone that's like a voice actor that I can copy their voice over to. And if I were to try to use someone else's voice, like SpongeBob's voice from the SpongeBob show or something, that would be illegal for me to do. However, I copied my own voice today, so essentially what I can do is I can type out any text that I want, and it will recreate that with my voice uh, using AI, and it's very, very good, I have to say. This is like world-class voice recreation technology here, and honestly, for the price, it's not too bad considering you get all these other editing options, which is really mainly the reason I, I paid for Descript. So I can create a new project here, I just named it They Stole My Voice, and normally if I was editing a video, I'd just drag my video file that it would automatically transcribe it and uh, you'd see all the text of what I was saying throughout the video on the side here and I could go up and you know edit it with these various tools but that's not what we're doing today today we're going to be stealing my voice or allowing it to steal my voice it takes a little bit of time for them to process your voice so basically what you do is you drag and upload a you know a sample recording of something you said so I just used one of my videos and then uh, it will automatically do it over the course of like a day or so and you'll get your overdub voice back. So let's just see how well this actually works. I'll just start out by saying, is mayonnaise an instrument? So I've typed that in here and now what I'll do is I'll click on this little speaker button right here. I know it's a little hard to see because the screen's so small, but I can create from voices that I have. So I have my voice here and then they have some stock ones you can mess with. Let's just try one of the stock ones at first. Let's try Dawn. So it does take a little bit of time to process the voice. As you can see down here, the you'll see some little audio pop up once it's uh, done processing the overdub, which is what they call it. So now it has been converted and we can take a listen. Is mayonnaise an instrument? So that's actually pretty good, I have to say. Yeah, this guy's voice sounds like one of those people that does movie trailers. I'm gonna paste a little bit of the B-movie script in here and we're gonna let uh, this generate some voice based off of the B-movie scripts. All right, so let's take a listen here now that it has generated. B-movie script. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, do, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Barry, breakfast is ready. Booming. Ha <laughs> uh, so what's pretty funny about this is uh, the accuracy, actually. If you guys have heard like AI generated voices before, this is high quality stuff. It's it's almost foolproof in some ways. I mean, you can tell a little bit, especially when words are repeating that it's not a real voice. It's a little robot voice, but sometimes you just can't tell at all that like if it was reading something like I, I would be completely okay listening to it it, it doesn't sound that robotic at all and uh, especially with this like announcer style voice it's really funny to hear barry adam own oh, you believe this is happening i can't i'll pick you up looking sharp use the stairs your father paid good money for those sorry i'm excited here's the graduate we're very proud of you son a perfect report card all these <laughs> so it's, it's funny here to listen to it with the, the freaking B movie script, but uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and change this voice now uh, to my voice, which again, I just submitted some audio for my video uh, recorded with this microphone that you see right here. And uh, yeah, it completely did it in my voice now. The script, according to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyway, because bees don't care. What humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a little. Berry, breakfast is ready. Oh, so yeah, again, what's uh, it's pretty interesting about this is it was able to convert my voice pretty accurately, I think. I don't think it's as good as the stock voices they do, because again, like they have a whole script you can read uh, to try to get the best, most accurate voice physically possible. But uh, I just dropped, you know, a video file in and it generated pretty darn good, I think, off of the uh, information that I sent in uh, to create my own voice. So maybe I'll do it again. I'll, I'll actually read their professional script they have to get the best voice possible out of whatever audio you're submitting, but I think it came out very, very good, honestly. It does sound quite a lot like me, which is a little terrifying, I'm not gonna lie. Hang on a second. Hello, Barry, Adam, Oh, you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. 
Use the stairs. Your father. Paid good money for those. Sorry. Uh, yeah, with this one, it sounds a little bit more robotic, I think. It sounds a little bit more monotone, but that could just be my own voice in there interjecting and, and making it sound worse. Wave to us. We'll be in row 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you. Stop flying in the house. Hey, Adam. Hey, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little special day. Graduation. Yeah, it's just it's just absolutely hilarious, and uh, it's, it's a lot of fun to mess around with, I have to say. I do want to try another thing here so i'm gonna try a little piece of rap god here of course the uh, song by eminem and we'll see uh if i can rap rap god by uh using the script's little auto voice translator of course you can't actually do the whole song there's like a transcription limit to do for one body of text that you paste in uh, you know, you can do unlimited amounts of voice translation here, but it can only do so much at one time. So I think Eminem's song here is actually a good demonstration of the technology's capabilities. Like, these aren't all actual real words uh, and everything, so it, it's pretty interesting to see what uh, this AI is capable of just by listening to this little piece. And uh, to keep it up with the beat, we're actually going to increase the pace of this uh, while we do the playback here. So it might sound a little bit weird, but I'm just increasing the playback speed, essentially. Uh, some alum at Doom alumet. You assume I'm a human. What I gotta do to get it through to you, I'm superhuman. Innovative and I'm made of rubber so that anything you say is ricocheting off of me and it'll glue to you and I'm devastating more than ever demonstrating how to give a motherfin audience a feeling like it's levitating, never fading, and I know that haters are forever waiting. For the day that they can say I fell off, they'll be celebrating because I know the way to get them motivated. I make elevating music, you make elevator music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous, they confuse it. It's not hip hop, it's pop, cause I found a hella way to fuse it. With rock, shock rap with duck. Throw and lose yourself and make him lose it. I don't know how to make songs like that. I don't know what words to use. Let me know when it occurs to you while I'm ripping any one of these verses. <laughs> it really does kind of sound like I'm saying it, which is the crazy part. I mean, you can tell it's sped up, obviously, because I literally just straight up sped the audio up, but it, it is really impressive technology to say the least. This is impressive stuff. I can't believe it was able to just copy my voice from like 40 minutes of of me making a video all right i really want to hear this now with the uh stock dawn voice or whatever which is the the movie trailer voice uh some alumma doom alumma you assuming i'm a human what i gotta do to get it through to you i'm superhuman innovative and i'm made of rubber so that anything you say is ricocheting off of me and it'll glue to you and i'm devastating more than ever demonstrating how to give a mother fin audience a feeling like it's levitating never fading and I know the haters are forever waiting for the day that they can say I fell off. They'll be celebrating cause I know the way to get him motivated. I make elevating music. You make elevator music. Oh, he's too mainstream. Well, that's what they do when they get jealous. They confuse it. It's not hip hop. It's pop cause I found a hell of a way to fuse it with rock, shock, rap with duck. Throw on lose yourself and make him lose it. I don't know how to make. <laughs> it is just crazy. It is absolutely crazy. I really like the rapping. I think it definitely is a good demonstration of what the music is capable of or rather the uh, AI is capable of. So here is the Wikipedia description for Bikini Bottom from the show SpongeBob. So uh, yeah, we'll see uh, how this AI tackles this task. The series takes place primarily in the fictional benthic underwater city of Bikini Bottom located in the Pacific Ocean beneath the real-life coral reef known as Bikini Atoll. Its citizens are mostly multicolored fish who live in buildings made from ship funnels and use boatmobiles, amalgamations of cars and boats, as a mode of transportation. Recurring locations within Bikini Bottom include the neighboring houses of SpongeBob, Patrick, and Squidward, two competing restaurants, the Krusty Krab and the Chum Bucket, Mrs. Puff's Boating School, which includes a driving course and a sunken lighthouse, the Tree Dome, an oxygenated glass enclosure where Sandy lives, Shady Shoals Rest Home, a seagrass meadow called Jellyfish Fields, and Goo Lagoon, a subaqueous brine pool that is a popular beach hangout. This series. Wow. So, a lot of the words in that little description there from Wikipedia are actually some pretty complex words, hard stuff to pronounce, and it got most of them correct, I have to say. It did a pretty darn good job recreating my voice and using it to say words that I probably have never said in my entire life. So yeah, at the end of the day, this technology is super impressive. I just wanted to share this with you guys, and uh, yeah, tell me what you think down in the comments, and if you're interested in Descript, again, it, it doesn't just do this. It can actually be really useful for transcribing and editing videos if you are a content creator. So, uh, yeah, if you're interested, use my affiliate link down in the description below. And uh, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.